In the annals of history, certain individuals emerge as beacons of knowledge, illuminating the path of human understanding. These individuals, through their relentless pursuit of wisdom and their groundbreaking discoveries, have left an indelible mark on the world. Their contributions have transcended time and space, influencing generations of thinkers and scholars. One such luminary was Brahma Gupta, a brilliant mathematician and astronomer from ancient India. His work laid the foundation for many mathematical principles that we take for granted today. Brahma Gupta's contributions were not just limited to theoretical mathematics, he also made significant strides in practical applications, which were crucial for the development of various scientific fields. Born in 598 CE, he revolutionized the world of mathematics with his groundbreaking discoveries. His birthplace, the region of Bilamala, was a hub of intellectual activity, fostering an environment that nurtured his genius. From a young age, Brahmagupta showed an extraordinary aptitude for numbers and celestial phenomena, setting the stage for his future achievements. His insights into the nature of numbers, equations and celestial bodies left an indelible mark on the history of science. Brahmagupta's work on zero as a number was revolutionary, providing a foundation for future mathematicians to build upon. His treatises, such as the Brahmasvata Siddhanta, were comprehensive works that covered a wide range of topics from arithmetic to astronomy. This essay explores the life, works and enduring legacy of Brahmagupta, a true giant of intellectual thought. His influence extended beyond the borders of India, reaching scholars in the Islamic world and later in Europe. The translations of his works into Arabic and Latin played a crucial role in the transmission of knowledge across cultures. We begin our journey in ancient India, a land known for its rich intellectual heritage. The vibrant marketplaces and traditional architecture of the time reflect a society deeply engaged in the pursuit of knowledge. It was in this fertile ground that Brahmagupta's ideas took root and flourished, contributing to the rich tapestry of Indian intellectual history. Here, amidst the vibrant tapestry of culture and knowledge, Brahmagupta emerged as a shining star. The ancient universities such as Nalanda were centers of learning where scholars from various disciplines would gather to exchange ideas. These institutions provided the perfect backdrop for Brahmagupta's intellectual pursuits, allowing him to engage with other great minds of his time. His contributions to mathematics and astronomy continue to shape our understanding of the universe today. Modern mathematicians and astronomers still refer to his work, acknowledging the profound impact he had on their fields. The principles he established have stood the test of time, proving their enduring relevance and applicability. His work transcended geographical boundaries, influencing mathematicians across the globe for centuries to come. The trade routes of the ancient world facilitated the exchange of ideas, allowing Brahmagupta's work to reach distant lands. His influence can be seen in the works of later mathematicians, who built upon his theories and expanded the horizons of human knowledge. Let us delve into the life and achievements of this remarkable individual. By exploring Brahmagupta's contributions, we gain a deeper appreciation for the rich intellectual heritage of ancient India and the enduring legacy of one of its greatest minds. His story is a testament to the power of human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Brahmagupta was born in 598 CE in Bilamala, a city in northwestern India, which is now part of Rajasthan. This region, known for its rich cultural heritage and historical significance, was a melting pot of various traditions and knowledge systems. Details of his early life remain shrouded in the mists of time. However, it is believed that he grew up in an environment that valued learning and intellectual pursuits. The remnants of ancient city ruins and artefacts from this period hint at a society deeply engaged in scholarly activities. However, historical records suggest that he received a comprehensive education in mathematics, astronomy and other sciences. This education would have been rigorous, involving the study of complex mathematical theories and astronomical observations. The ancient classroom settings where scholars taught these subjects were centres of intense intellectual activity. He likely studied ancient Indian texts, like the Surya Siddhanta, 
which laid the foundation for his own astronomical work. The Surya Siddhanta, a seminal text in Indian astronomy, provided detailed descriptions of planetary motions, eclipses, and other celestial phenomena. Brahmagupta's deep understanding of these texts enabled him to make significant contributions to the field. At the young age of 30, Brahmagupta became the head of the Astronomical Observatory at Ujjain, a prominent center of learning in ancient India. Ujjain was renowned for its astronomical research and was home to many distinguished scholars. The observatory itself was equipped with advanced instruments for the time, allowing for precise astronomical measurements. This esteemed position provided him with the resources and support to pursue his scientific endeavors. The observatory's library was filled with ancient manuscripts and texts, offering a treasure trove of knowledge. The scientific tools and instruments available to him were among the best of the era, facilitating his research and discoveries. He immersed himself in the study of ancient texts, meticulously analyzing and building upon the work of his predecessors. His dedication to understanding and expanding upon existing knowledge was evident in his detailed analyses and innovative approaches to solving complex problems. Surrounded by fellow scholars and with access to a wealth of knowledge, Brahmagupta flourished in this intellectually stimulating environment. The debates and discussions with other scholars provided him with new perspectives and ideas, further enriching his work. The ancient library filled with scrolls and manuscripts was a hub of scholarly activity where ideas were exchanged and knowledge was continuously expanded. The vibrant cultural life of Ujjain also played a role in shaping Brahmagupta's intellectual journey. The city's bustling markets, cultural festivals and diverse population created a dynamic environment that fostered creativity and innovation. This rich cultural tapestry provided a backdrop for his scientific pursuits, inspiring him to explore new frontiers in mathematics and astronomy. Ramagupta's contributions to mathematics and astronomy were not just the result of his individual brilliance, but also the collaborative efforts of the scholarly community in Ujjain. The collective wisdom and shared knowledge of this community were instrumental in his achievements. His work laid the groundwork for future generations of scholars, influencing the development of these fields for centuries to come. The preservation and transmission of knowledge were of paramount importance in ancient India. Scholars like Brahmagupta played a crucial role in ensuring that valuable scientific and mathematical knowledge was passed down through generations. Their meticulous efforts in copying and preserving texts have allowed us to access this rich heritage today. Today, Ujjain stands as a testament to its glorious past, with its historical landmarks and cultural heritage sites attracting scholars and tourists alike. The legacy of Brahmagupta and his contemporaries continues to inspire and inform our understanding of the ancient world and its contributions to modern science and mathematics. At the age of 30, Brahmagupta wrote his most famous work, the Brahmasvuta Siddhanta, or the opening of the universe. This comprehensive treatise, written in 628 CE, stands as a testament to his genius. It covers a wide range of topics in mathematics and astronomy, showcasing Brahmagupta's deep understanding of these subjects. The Brahmasvuta Siddhanta is divided into 25 chapters, each dedicated to a specific aspect of mathematics or astronomy. In this monumental work, Brahmagupta presented his groundbreaking discoveries, including his work on zero, negative numbers, and quadratic equations. He also delved into the intricacies of astronomy, discussing topics like eclipses, planetary motion, and the length of the year. He provided practical applications for his mathematical findings, demonstrating their relevance to everyday life and scientific calculations. The Brahmasvuta Siddhanta served as a cornerstone of mathematical and astronomical knowledge in India and beyond for centuries to come. Perhaps Brahmagupta's most significant contribution to mathematics was his invention of zero. This single concept, seemingly simple yet profoundly complex, changed the landscape of mathematics forever. 
Brahmagupta, an Indian mathematician and astronomer, lived during the 7th century and his work laid the groundwork for many mathematical principles we take for granted today. Prior to his time, mathematicians struggled to represent the concept of nothingness. Different cultures had various ways of dealing with the idea of nothing, but none had a standardized symbol or a clear mathematical understanding of zero. The absence of zero made calculations cumbersome and limited the scope of mathematical exploration. Brahmagupta recognized the need for a symbol to represent zero, understanding that it was essential for the advancement of mathematics. His insight was not just about creating a symbol, but about defining its properties and integrating it into the existing number system, both as a placeholder in the decimal system and as a number with its own unique properties. This dual role of zero was crucial. As a placeholder, zero allowed for the correct positioning of digits in the decimal system, making it possible to distinguish between numbers like 10 and 100. As a number, zero had its own arithmetic rules, which Brahmagupta meticulously defined. He defined zero as the result of subtracting a number from itself, a concept that seems intuitive today, but was groundbreaking at the time. This definition was a cornerstone for developing arithmetic operations involving zero, such as addition, subtraction, and multiplication, a revolutionary concept that laid the foundation for arithmetic as we know it today. Brahmagupta's work on zero was not just theoretical, it had practical applications that transformed how calculations were performed, making them more efficient and accurate. His invention of zero revolutionized mathematics by introducing a symbol for nothingness, a concept that was both abstract and concrete. This innovation allowed for the development of new mathematical theories and techniques, which were essential for the progress of science and technology. Completing the decimal system and paving the way for more complex calculations. The decimal system with zero as a fundamental component became the standard for numerical representation, enabling more sophisticated mathematical operations and the development of algebra. This innovation had far-reaching implications, enabling mathematicians to develop more sophisticated systems of counting, calculation and algebra. The introduction of zero was a catalyst for mathematical discoveries and advancements, influencing various fields such as astronomy, engineering and economics. The invention of zero was a pivotal moment in the history of mathematics, profoundly impacting the development of the field and shaping the course of scientific progress. It is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the enduring legacy of ancient scholars like Brahmagupta, whose contributions continue to resonate through the ages.